all hard paper craft. Hello, I'm Chris from Stahlhard Paper Craft. And this time I'm actually outside as you can see. And uh, because I want to introduce some wild beasts to you, which are from the Creative Park. So the Creative Safari Park, so to speak. And uh, they are the African elephant, the giraffe, and the zebra from Canon Creative Park. And the designer is Pino Art. And uh, yeah, we will look at them one by one. And as you can see, they are not exactly in scale. So as you can see, the zebra is a little bit too big because the zebra is not so big as compared to the elephant. And uh, actually, the giraffe and the elephant could be considered to have the same scale. But we will get to it. So let's look at them one by one. The giraffe. So the giraffe is, of course, the tallest one of the three. Just like the giraffe is the tallest one in reality and uh, so it stands at about 35 centimeters if you build it in a full size of the model you can of course also scale up and down or 13 inches 77 and the scale is somewhere between 1 to 12 and 1 to 15 so the scales here i give i calculated them myself based on the height of the animals and uh, but you know animals in nature are not always the same size so the male and the female have different sizes and um, the individual animals also have different sizes. So the scale can be somewhere between 1 to 12 and 1 to 15, depending on what do you think how tall this giraffe is. The instructions for the giraffe. As you can see, um, you have, this is the title page. They have some basic instructions, like what does it mean? What, are, what, are, what do things mean? Um, and uh, as you can see, they have some. As you can see, they have some things on the tabs to tell you know where this is supposed to be glued together. Um, and uh, then there are other places. Yeah, and then they have also they say where, where where which part is it. So you don't get that don't get confused because the name on the tab is not the tab which it's glued to, but it's the part which you are currently using. So you have to look into the instructions to see how does it get together. And then the valley folds and the mountain folds are pretty much the same as, as is standard. So you have a mountain fold is dotted line and the valley fold is dot dashed line. And uh, yeah, I, I don't see why you would have a glue, why you would need a glue spot, but I guess. Um, and then you have glue reverse side. So, so that is like you. I, I didn't really get what that is about. And uh, then if you look at the, the if you look at the content page, you see that this this instruction is actually quite detailed. So you have to um, and and this is actually also required for this one because I try to figure out some part. I mean most of it myself by just cutting out the parts and seeing how do they go together. And in some cases it can be rather difficult. So the, so it's good to have the instructions as a reverence. And as you can see, this is like one, one entire page only about the head. And then here we have the neck and shoulder. And also another interesting thing is that you have the different color code for, you see that the yellow is the head and green is the neck and shoulder, blue is the legs. And uh, so um, this is actually referring to the same colors which are on on the model pages and the model pages for the giraffe here you have repeated again the same things and you actually have also here the, the, the information about the size and some short introductions some images of the model and uh, then if you go to the next page you can see here you see this is the color code so here is the yellow is for the head parts green is for the neck and shoulder parts green with green and then blue for the leg and body parts Okay, well, something that um, I found interesting about is you know that they're actually wasting a lot of paper here, you know. But
but it's understandable because you know Canon wants to sell their paper and Canon yeah well Canon wants to sell their ink as well but Canon wants to sell their paper so um, of course they would want you to waste the paper because basically you could fit the whole model on about half the pages um, yeah but it doesn't have to stop you from having a nice time with building this model I always <laughs> I don't know why this looks like a chicken it feels like a chicken to me. But anyway, if you put it together, you have this beautiful giraffe head. And uh, there's uh, what, is, what is really noticeable about all of these models is that you, have, um, you don't really have any cones. You, you do have cones, but you hardly, you're like, if you look at the head, it's like many small parts which come together. Yeah? And, and of course, when you build the model in full size, it's rather big. And, uh, but you see, the the, the, the the thing about these separate parts is like in the beginning it, it seems a little, con little bit confusing but actually this is actually what makes this model possible to follow the natural shape you don't have any formats or anything so I don't know how well does it hold on um, how well does it hold on if you build it in a full size, in the, in the, the size I built it, which is about half size, it, it comes out okay. It's not it's not too weak. And then you see here that they have sometimes they have a tab and sometimes they don't. And this is this is also confusing in the beginning, because this they actually use this the model actually uses this tab to they use the tabs to let you figure out where to place it. You see, so these two tabs actually go in these places and these two tabs or these four tabs go in these places where there are no tabs so that's um, how it how the tabs are supposed to help you f put the pieces in the right position which is on which is, and another thing which is interesting you have this 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 tabs with uh, which have these are non glue tabs so actually you you just uh, push them into into the, the, the part here that, that can help you to make things more round and more natural eh? which is really um, which is really one of the things of this model which is really precious about the model how they come out you know like they look very biological then here you have the neck and for the neck as I already uh, yeah for the neck you have the, the tabs here which go together you, you glue the two together and this is actually the bottom of the neck and this is the this is where the main goes and the main is actually makes it possible that you will not you're not going to see any seam because the seam is going to be hidden under the under the main and then you have the body parts and again you don't have any you know any full cone or anything you just have this almost like pieces of meat which are then glued together and uh, the tricky part is here where the where the legs are put in. That that's a little bit um, difficult to to get together, and and because the yeah, because you have you need to push the leg in the right position. You have the, here you have the, the main, and then you have the legs, and uh, the legs are all pretty much the same. So so you have this this is the knee where where it's a little bit bent, right, and then you have of course um, yeah. So, so the lower part, I, I don't know if this is verse, the, how to say it, heel, yeah. And uh, then you have here the, the rest of the body and the uh, hind legs. And you, you see that this is like, if you look at those parts, it's really confusing to, to see how they will go together. It's just like magically out comes the uh, amazing uh, biologically looking shape of the giraffe and of course the tail is flat here but it doesn't really you know it doesn't really matter because if you would have round parts here it will just make it even that more difficult and, and like this is it's actually still possible to scale it down if you had the tail made of cones that would be like really detailed and here as you can see the hooves and you don't have the lower lower side for the hooves so this is the giraffe and uh, it's, of course it's scaled down the actual one will be a little bit bigger and uh, as you can see here the head is the head is very nature very lifelike you have two you have the two jaws separate which is a special character of this uh, this designer that he did on the models 
and then you have the ear of course you have also you have an inner ear yeah and you have the eyes as a bulge and you have the horns and the horns at the tip are petals they're a bit difficult to do um, and then the the mane is like a stripe which those parts at the bottom you see they are not, they have no seam here because the seam is actually hidden under the mane which is very cleverly done and then you have the bump and as you can see you here you can see the structure of it's not it's really except for the legs it's not really no longer cones yeah and then the tail is the tail is actually just basically 2d but it it, it lifts lifts up like this and uh, and then the knees are, are, are like where you have some part here which bends in and then of course you have the hooves and the hooves are yeah the hooves are open on the bottom but you know normally you will have it standing somewhere anyway so you don't really need the hooves uh, to be closed and yeah so it's a really lovely it's really very lifelike and very very cute the zebra if you build the zebra model in a size as the model pages come it will have a height of about 17.5 centimeters or 6 inches 88 and as you can see this is the difference between the other two and this one is this one is a scale between 1 to 6 and 1 to 8 it means it's much bigger in comparison so if you want to have them in the same size you need to scale down the zebra about half yeah um, good so that's a good thing to know you know because um, it's a really a pity they don't give the scales for these models in the model pages and that someone like me has to <laughs> spend a really really a lot of time to try to figure out how tall are them because yeah I had to build them to measure the size and uh, yeah but now you know so you can scale the zebra accordingly to make them all in the same size and the instructions for the zebra you already know all of this just have a look how does it look like and then again head and body legs and back it's all the same thing and um, yeah and interest really interesting is the snout actually the, the snout is the same on, on a giraffe and, a, and, a, and a, in the zebra where you have just like two jaws made out of two parts which comes out really 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 nice and 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 like the, the also the whole head section of the zebra is is very close to, to the to the to how it actually looks like yeah and again you see the knees and the legs is all pretty much the same as for the giraffe and the elephant it's all uh, the yeah here yeah, you need to get something small to, to get inside the legs yeah. and the model pages for the zebra again this is the title page where you have the introduction and the pictures of the zebra and then the mostly empty first page with the head parts so so the the, the nostrils are a little bit confusing because the nostrils are basically like flat here you just glue this to the own and then you lay them over them but um, it, it doesn't really show in the final model. In the model, it it it's, it looks quite good in the in the final model. You don't really notice that you know there's a bit that this is not. And it also, if you would want to make it in a different, it, I think it's an elegant way to to you know make the nostrils stand out, but not to have some really sophisticated tiny new parts that make them uh, uh, too sophisticated. Also here, look at, pay attention to the scoring here because this is really important to that you score like the, the upper part of the nose, which is basically the nose, you, that you score this correctly so that the, the, the head shape will come out good enough. And uh, the neck parts, again the same like with the giraffe you have here, uh, the two tabs are glued together, back to back, and then the mane goes over it again you have those very detailed this is also a very confusing area because because it's not clear whether this should be like glued flat and flat or whether you know why why is it why is it scored here right so 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 you don't want to leave it open on the top just just i suggest to just 
glue the mains together only on along this side and leave leave them open here. And the shoulder and the chest, again, this is like a whole same thing as with the other two animals. You just have those different parts go together. Then you get the, yeah, the, the copyright notice. I don't see why it's necessary to put this on the model itself. Uh, it's not like anyone is looking at the model and will, will, will look at, oh, this where does this come from? If they are interested, they will ask, where does it come from? But yeah, I, I can understand. You have your artwork and you want to put it on this and you want to make some advertisement for your website which is of course again a way of making advertisement for your printer and print printer products um so so it's understandable after all you get this model for free right so you can uh, accept this little logo on them and then here's the the legs and the, 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 and here the, as you can see the knee is slightly different and here in the bottom you have this these tabs which you which you push into the into the hooves at the end. The, the, the knee is slightly different, but it's basically still the same way that these things go together. It also makes sense to, you know, to always to pay attention to that the seams are aligned here in the back. Um, in, my, in my animal models, I, I always write an instruct, instruction to pay attention to it. It should be something that you wouldn't need to say. So actually, because here they didn't use the, the tabs to make you Align it correctly, but of course you should make it. Um, uh, and 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 a good thing would is also to not. That goes for all those three models. Like not to mix up the legs, because the le the, the legs are not exactly the same. So if you mix up these two parts, you will get some really strange legs. Um, yeah, this is the here they call it the rump, not the buttocks. And then you have the the other legs. And. Uh, and here you, you you don't even really get the get the knee, and again the hooves are slightly different. And uh, as with the giraffe, this this is uh, yeah. If you if you build at a smaller scale, this might be a little bit tricky. And the tail, it's the same as with the others. Okay, so this is a zebra, and the zebra zebra is actually pretty similar to the giraffe, um, in that it also has the neck like this with no seams, and then the seams are coming together in the mane. The legs are the same with the knees and the hooves and the open hooves in the bottom and uh, and the tail also pretty much the same and also another thing which is the same as you can see is it has this um, the jaws the two jaws are separated to create this kind of snout and then another and one thing which is not the same is of course that the eyes are not separate but it's really nice how the the head shape of the zebra comes out is i think it's it's very um, very lifelike, very, very close to nature, and uh, yeah, and yeah. So, so, so the back of the the, the behind of this, this is a bit. This part, some in some places, it can be rather confusing, like how to get this together. Um, but fortunately, you have those very detailed instructions to. If, so, if you get stuck, you can know how to how to do this. I'm not sure if the stripes here are actually correct but you know like the general impression of the zebra is really great one it's especially if you keep it if you don't if you have it you know far away it, it looks really impressive and of course remember that the original one if you build it in full scale then it will be even bigger so it's 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 rather impressive so this is the zebra the african elephant the African elephant, of course, um, is different from an Indian elephant. So this in this case, it's the African elephant. But you wouldn't want to have an Indian elephant along with a giraffe and a zebra. That wouldn't really make sense. Um, well, it's also possible, but it's you know, in, in, in the wild, you probably will not see them together. And uh, the elephant stands at a height at about 25 centimeters or 9 inch 44, if you build it in the full size. And as you can see, this model scale is somewhere between 1 to 12 and 1 to 16. Again, depending on how tall the actual elephant is, whether you consider it male or female. Yeah, I, I, baby is probably not possible because baby has would have different proportions. Um, so that, as you can see, so the elephant and the giraffe, you can basically build them in the same size and uh, they will be in the same scale. So they will be matching. And 
the instructions for the African elephant. And uh, this page is again, this is all pretty much the same as in the, in the Terrafin model. You have the, again the instructions here, like how to do everything. And again, you have the color code where you have the yellow one, which is actually, I, I, th I think that maybe it would make more sense to have the yellow one here because this is not, this is just the general instruction. This is not where you start to build the head. Um, so so if, it, if, if this would be, if they would start yellow with here, that would be better. But it's just a small detail. Um, getting the, the trunk together is pretty easy. Getting the, tr the tusks are maybe a little bit more challenging because you have smaller cones. So, so for beginners, maybe this uh, the, the challenging part. And what's really difficult is like to get this area here around the tusks right. The fun part about the tusks is that you can actually position the tusks in, in different directions, yeah, because there is no fixed way how to put them. So you can let them come a little bit more outward or a little bit more inward, which, as far as I know, happens with actual elephants as well. Um, and then here you have, you can see how this, this, this different separate parts are brought together to create a body. Again, the most difficult area is, is here around the legs, where, where later you will attach the legs. If you build one of those models, where whichever you build first, you already get used to how they are built. So, so, so the legs, the, the body, the legs, uh, especially the knees and the, and the feet, also the tail, they are all pretty much the same. So you, you, get, you get used to it. And the model pages for the elephant, again, the, the, the title page with, instruct, with, the, with the description. And again, you have this usually empty pages like <laughs> how much else would you f could you fit on this page right um, again the color code here those are places where this is places the place where the ear goes these are places where where you score and then you cut in here this is where you cut in to make the, some some bulge here above the eye uh, it's it seems confusing at first but it works works quite okay and uh, then you have the the nose is a classic are classic cones basically. They call it noses, which should of course be the trunk. And this is what I said, which is the difficult part, where you have to glue this area onto the place where the trunks come out. And uh, it, it's, it's, it takes a while to, to understand how, how to get the angle right and everything. Then the tusks, yeah, it's basically just cones, the neck, and uh, all, you have all, again all those separate parts. And here you have the beautiful. Um, this kind of stuff on the bottom. On the bottom, you can see caution: do not pick at people with beak. So, so uh, you, of course, you know that paper. You can cut yourself very easily with paper, so better be cautious. And uh, and the ears. So actually, you see, you could even. I, I mean, I, 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 I there. It's not necessary to have the back of the ears because you don't really see it. But you know, it would even be space on this page to add the, the additional part for the back of the ear. I really love the, the artwork, how it's, everything is like very, very natural and, and seems very, it's just very fitting, those, those animal subjects. And also not too much because I didn't try like to, to recreate the animal skin. So there's a certain, uh, it's re certainly reduced to some degree, but like everything that's important is here, and that's, that's really nicely done. You so see, you have the buttock, the huge, huge buttock of the elephant. Again, here, there's, you see, there's a part where you, where you will score, and then the legs, and this is again the knee, and the main mono legs. You see, the elephant is mostly legs, and the feet, and the feet. Of course, you, you just bend them in here to make them. A little bit round. The tail is exactly the same as for the giraffe. Okay, and finally the elephant. And uh, yeah, here's the, the model. And uh, and then you have, the, of course, you have the you have the tusks. And you have the head, right? So so the, 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 you have to build this bulge where the where the tusks are are, are connected to the to the fuselage to the to the body and then you have the trunk yeah the trunk has many several parts and then the legs are actually this time they are 
this time they in this case they don't have in this case they don't have the knees and also the the feet you can't speak of hooves with an elephant I guess the feet are different they are more 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 big and more round yeah um, and of course <laughs> in this case it's <laughs> a little bit more obvious that you don't have any bottom side for them but as, as I said before the model will usually stand so so you don't have to worry about this again the whole shape of the elephant is really neatly done it's, it, it, it's really very close to an actual elephant and one more thing worth noting is that um, of course for the ears you don't have an inner side so as you can see the ears are wide inside and uh, but again it doesn't really matter um, because most of the times you're not going to see that they are that you're not going to see the, not going to see the back side of the ears so if you don't like it you can either paint them gray inside or print the page with the ears twice so you can just be, uh, glue the same uh, part of the ear once again in the back yeah so this is the lovely elephant so this was my review of the creative park safari park animals and I hope you liked it and if you want to get these models they are for free you can get them for free from Canon Creative Park the link is in the description or you can also just search Canon Creative Park online and uh, thank you for watching <laughs>